What do you have for me, Navigator? I think it's time we talk about what this journey is really about. I don't follow. I know about the Time Soul, Marley. And I know what you intend to do with it. You... you were in my heart, despite my explicit orders. Mordecai told me to. A secret message back in the Riddle Hall. His words were clear. He wants you to send the Time Soul back to the below. I know very well what his final request was. Do you? Because when you recounted it to me, you left out the most vital part. Careful now, Navigator. You intend to use the Time Soul. You're going against your captain's wish so you can bring him back. Listen well, Aethia Manicato. You presume to speak for the captain, but you are wrong, no matter what his message says. I know better than anyone what the captain would have wanted. Think about the clues he left us. The relics. Put there to remind you when you should not use your power. The mirror, which makes the crew come to terms with their past. He's preparing us. Because if anyone uses the Time Soul, something terrible will happen. Enough. Your concern is noted. Return to your post, and let us not speak of this again. I'm not giving up yet, Marley. As you will, Navigator. Now please, leave me be. Fine. Take your time. We'll continue this at a later date. <laughs> well, not like I expected this to be easy. Back to business it is. I am listening. I know how much it hurts. I know you want it to stop. But what you're trying to do, that's only going to make it worse. I remember everything about him with perfect clarity. Every time I do, I'm reminded that he isn't here now. I'll never hear his voice again. I'll feel his boots on my deck. I'm sorry, Navigator, but you do not know. I told you I was a war orphan, yes? Did I tell you where from? I'm from Port Royal. I'm one of the few the dead man's fleet pulled out of the burning city. I saw my family burn to ash. My friends pulled me from the smoldering ruins of our house. Most of them died before we could reach the piers. When we sailed away, all I thought was, what if this wasn't real? Just a bad dream. I've closed that wound a long time ago. I have Mordecai to thank for it. You were one of the orphans the captain brought on board. Aye. Saw him lose his hand and on. Reaper's teeth, what a fight. He made jokes about it later. Think he tried to comfort us. Don't worry, eh? Look, I'll just put it in me hand. That's when I wanted to be like him. Someone who can take all the bad life throws at you and still make the best of it. A true pirate, eh? Perhaps. I was too quick to judge you, Navigator. I will reconsider our previous discussion. In the meantime, let us continue on our journey. Agreed? Always move forward. Navigator, I have rethought my goals regarding the treasure. The captain was never shackled by the past. It is time I learned from his example. When we find the time soul, I will do my best to... To... Marley? Something's wrong. It's her. I have to go. Marley! What's going on here? <laughs> you... Consider it done. My buddy saved. Now we're getting somewhere. Where are you, Ignatia? <laughs> Pitiful soul. Did you really think I'd simply remain your idle captive? 
I found a little helper to carry me into the Marley's depths. Soon, I will be reunited with my true self and grant her all the knowledge I have discovered. Not if I can help it. Virgilio, I need you right now. Calmatevi, signora. I await you at the usual spot. Well, well. The skeletons are terrible. I can do this only once. I have nothing to do with that. A sword left. I'll be there soon. Estelle never keeps to herself. Bucket monkey, she's been messing up the entire day when I... I must say, things are getting quite interesting. Spare me. I have to get to Ignatia. My, my. You're growing a bit too reliant on my services. One last time, Virgilio. For me. Ah, I am too easily swayed. And the ammo. Good work, Jester. Jester? Is that you, Navigator? I don't know how you got here, but I need your help. Come now! I. Estelle! What are you doing down here? <laughs> she was under Ignatius' control and carried the captain's head down here. I already broke the spell. Come. I like these odds. Ignatia is forcing me to create a pathway through the below. How do I stop her? Too late, Navigator. Open the gate. So, this is how you flee from my grasp time and time again. Most devious. Alas, I've come for different insight. Let us see what my fragment has spied from you. Do something, Navigator! Do you hear it, little cursed? The desperate... Nobody takes what is mine, Navigator! Unleash! Do you hear it, little cursed? The desperation in your host's inhuman soul. How easily the ship... Pointless. My will is unbreakable. Come, fragment. Grant me the knowledge you have gained. Ah, I see. So Mordecai made you the key. Very well. Stumble through your final tests, pirates. I will await you at the end. Why? Why can't I resist the captain's head? Infuriating to be at the mercy of your power, isn't it? How long I've spent devising rights to counter you, yet in the end, the answer was so simple. Any human soul would have accepted Mordecai's death by now, but not you. You never needed to face grief, loss, pain. Your power has left you defenseless to them. Do you understand now? It's not the semblance of your captain that grants me power over you. It is your inability to let him go. And that is why you will fail. Sorry, Marley. I tried my best. I know, Navigator. She's gone now. I'll send a few skeletons to pick you up. Come to me, Navigator. Well, well. Estelle never keeps to herself. 
bugging monkey. She's been messing up the entire debt when I wasn't here. Now we're getting somewhere. I can't forget what she said. Don't let Ignatia turn your head around. She's just trying to break you down. But she's right. I couldn't even bring myself to throw his skull overboard. How do I fight this navigator? How do I win against myself? That's for you to figure out, Marley. When we find the treasure, you'll be ready. <laughs>